Hi, my name is Andy, and in today's video, we're going to tune the carburetor on my 1966 Mustang by putting in some new metering rods and jets. So let's get started. Alright, we got quite a bit to take apart here. We need to take the air filter off, the throttle linkage, uh, we'll disconnect the vacuum lines and the fuel line, and then the, the connection for the electric choke. Now the carb is ready to lift out of the car. Now that we've got everything disconnected. Okay. All right. Here is the carb. So this is the 1406 Edelbrock carburetor with the electronic choke. The main difference between this carburetor and the 1405 Edelbrock is the 1405 is tuned for performance and has a manual choke. This carburetor is tuned for fuel economy and so it's going to run a little leaner than what I would like uh, to kind of get me where I want to be with this car. Now what you can do is you can take a look at here is the chart for the 1406 uh, performance or reference chart and where we're sitting right here we're sitting at the stock in the middle so it's in the middle for cruise and for power and that runs a, it's going to be hard to see, but uh, a 0.09 inch jet and a 0.075 by 0.047 metering rod. That's what comes in here stock. And what we want to do is I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of this chart and go with the 1405 chart. If you take the size of jet and rod that we have on this carb and map it out on the 1405, we're sitting way down here, which is lean for cruise and, and a little bit lean for the power. And that's, it's not the exact, I mean we are 0.098 here, but we're 0.075 by 0.047 is what I have, but this chart says 0.073, so it's the closest that I can get on the 1405 chart. What I want to do is, I'm going to tune this carb to be actually the starting point of the 1405 carburetor, um, which is a 0 .100 jet and a 0 .070 by 0 .047 metering rod. So uh, the first thing I want to do is take this apart to get to the metering rods and then the jets are on the inside. So let's get started with that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take off these eight fasteners that hold the top of this down. Uh, and then we'll come in later and do these two screws here for the metering rods. But let's get this top half off so we can get down to the jets down inside. Alright, before we can lift this top off, we need to take the linkage off of the, the pump here, this choke linkage here, and the choke linkage on this side. And there's just little tiny, little tiny cotter pins that are holding those in place, so we can pull those out. They just look like this, just little tiny, little tiny guys. Alright, now we can lift this off the top. Be careful with everything. And there we 
go. So right here you can see these are the metering rods. We'll get to those at the end, but first we're going to do the jets down inside. All right. So now that we got that cleaned out, we can go ahead and we can kind of wipe out. There's some gunk and grime that collects down here in the bottom of these uh, where the floats sit, and I just prefer not to have that stuff eventually break free and go into my engine. So just take a couple seconds just to kind of wipe that out a little bit, um, to clean it up. All right, now we can get in and get to these jets. So where they are, they're hiding down inside in the bottom, right down in here. And all it takes is a flathead screwdriver to just unscrew those and they should come out. There's one on each side down there in the bottom. And we're gonna replace those with a little bit larger jet to run, let, this, let this car run a little bit richer to give us just a little bit more power. This is what it looks like. Um, and on here, it'll tell you the size, and it's really hard to, to see on here, but it'll tell you the size uh, of this jet. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with a little bit larger jet, uh, which is a size 0 .100 inches, which is, I believe the stock one is uh, 0 .098 inches, which is just a fraction larger than, than what we've got here. Let's get the other one out. All right, two down. All right, when installing these jets, you don't need to put any Loctite or any C's or anything on them. You can just go ahead and put them in there and thread them in. This part is ready to put the top back on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new gasket on here. Um, there may not have been anything wrong with the gasket that was on here originally, um, this guy. But I'm going to go ahead and just put a new one on since we're in here. They're only a couple bucks, so it's, oh, look, I'm already tearing it. So that's a good reason to, to get this one installed. Okay, so when you're getting this gasket off, careful you get, it's going to get sticking around the corners. You don't want to get that cleaned off. We also have to take these floats off to get the new gasket in place. So the first thing we're going to do is just pull these pins out. Pull this float off. And we don't need to mess with this system. We can just do that and that'll be sufficient. Same thing on this side. Alright, now we can put the new gasket on. Put the floats back in. All right, now we're going to put this back on the carb, get everything snug down, and then we can do these metering rods. <sighs> Don't want that in there. <laughs> That's not something you want in your fuel. Now that we got these eight bolts back in and just snug enough just to kind of hold everything in place, we can go after these metering rods. We're going to want to use a T15 or a Torx 15 fastener to take these off. We don't need to pull these screws out all the way, just enough to, to loosen this cap. And this is where our metering rod is located. And what we're going to do here is replace this guy with a different unit and the spring inside here. Now I'm gonna go to what Edelbrock is calling orange springs, which is a five, um, oh, the vacuum, the five inches of mercury or whatever it's called. Um, so this is the stock spring, and this is what we're going to 
uh, is what they call the orange springs. You can see they're different. Different there. And while we're doing this, we're only going to do one at a time. There's no reason to open up both of these. So we'll just go after one. Also, when we put that new spring in there, when we get this new metering rod, uh, this little spring right here, maybe hard to see, um, this holds the metering rod from coming out. So if we just pull that spring down to pull this rod out, and just be careful that this little, we don't want to lose this little spring right here. So we'll just leave that guy on there. And this guy, it's written on here. It's hard to see, you can't see here, but it says 7547, that's the size. And what we're gonna put in is uh, 7047. Uh, and it's just a little bit of a different size metering rod. So let's put that in there. And see, there's, you, to, the, to the eye, you're not gonna be able to see the difference. Um, other than it's cleaner. We'll put this guy in here. Again, we'll push the spring down. There. Now there's a little notch on the end of this metering rod that that spring is catching on, so now it doesn't come out. And I'm just going to clean this up a little bit with some... Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this apart and hit this with some card cleaner just to clean this up just a little bit. Spring off there. There. Now that's cleaned up. That, uh... Looks brand new almost. Okay. Put this back on. There we go. Now we're happy. And then we're going to put the orange spring down inside there. This guy. When we put this in here, we want to make sure that this spring fits up inside. that. And, all right, it's happy. So flip that around. And we can just tighten this up. And we don't need to, this thing doesn't need to be NASA tight, just just snug so it's not, not going to come off. And let's see the other side. All right, now that we got this assembled, we got the new jets in there, the new metering rods with the new springs. We can go ahead and tighten down these fasteners and then we'll hook the linkage back up. All right, we got ourselves a newly metered and jetted uh, tuned carb. Let's put it back in, uh, let's put it back in the car. Ah, crap. I forgot to tighten these down. Darn it. I gotta take this back off. Okay. That's done. That's pretty easy, pretty quick 
modification or tune-up that you can do to your carburetor. Um, where we are now with this, we're sitting it with the stock 1405, which is the performance uh, carb is for the Edelbrock. Um, normally that one would be one with the manual choke. I have the electronic choke, so it's more fuel economy minded. Now we're sitting in the more performance realm. So from here is a good place to start, and then I can tune it from here, and I'll use that 1405 chart to kind of see how things go. Um, I'm gonna take the car out for a little spin. The roads are still a little wet. I really don't want to drive this this car in, in, in wet weather or dark, gnarly weather. Just uh, try to preserve it as much as I can. So I'm gonna let the roads dry out a little bit and then and see how I did. All right, I might have gotten a little overzealous with my tuning. Uh, I took the car out for a spin and it's really, it was really snappy, poppy, ready to go right at the beginning and then just driving it after about a half a mile or a mile or so and the car just bogs down. Um, it's just not happy. It's, it, feels, it seems like it's getting too much fuel and because I did two things, I did the, the, the jets and the metering rods at the same time, it's harder to tell which one's doing all the work. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, stock jets back in and use the metering rods that I had just put in, and we'll see how that goes. Well, I may have found the problem. There's a little bit of piece of paper from, <laughs> maybe that's what was going on. Maybe it was choking and not running rich. Um, that's from the gasket, and maybe I didn't get that cleaned out well enough. Um, maybe that was the problem. I, mean, I should just put it back together. All right, we got everything put back together. Now I can fire back up and see if that uh, if that little piece of gasket stuck in the jet is what was causing all my problems when I was driving. Uh, so uh, here we go. scratching the surface of what I can do with this car. Uh, I just wanted to get to a spot where I could take it from here and then tune up or down um, using that 1405 chart uh, instead of this 1406 uh, chart. So um, other than that, I think we're good to go. We'll call that one, uh, call that a win now that I got that clog out of the out of the jet. That didn't do me any favors. Um, all right, thanks for sticking with me. We'll see you in the next one. And on today's video, we're going to upgrade the tuning on my Edelbrock carburetor. And on today's video, we're going to upgrade the tuning on my Edelbrock. We're going to upgrade the meeting rods. Hi, my name's Andy. And on today's video, we're going to tune the... Don't put this, this is not okay to put back in your car. This one's toast. This should be, it shouldn't be this difficult to put on here. All right, that's gonna do it. Now we got the metering, uh, the metering, metering rods and main, okay, never mind.